Hi everyone, my name is Edwina with Elegant Creations and I wanted to do a project share um, for morning, Saturday Morning Makes with Jill Norwood and I wanted to do show this little project and this is a teapot that I bought um, on Amazon and um, the teapot from here to here is six and by five and three quarters. It's a pretty good sized teapot and then it comes with uh, these little um, front parts you can either use this one or this one and this is cut out but it doesn't cut through and it just kind of leaves a little indention but you can't really see it so it's kind of nice and it does come with some dies um, this is tea party and then it comes with the two things for the top and then the, this hearts from something else and it comes with the words tea party I don't know what I did with the party part <laughs> but this is the website I got um, the place I got this from but I got it from Amazon and this is the name of the company and so I did um, three different projects out of one the teapot and so what I did was I made a box and you, I put candy and I was able to put um, some tea bags and the candy I made was from the those little wafer chocolate wafers and I did some green red and, and some white and I uh, had a mold that was teacups and teapots and so I did that last year for my craft shows and so the box measures let's see if I can get my measurements at seven by six and a quarter and on the seven side I, I scored at two and a half and then turned it two and a half and then six and a quarter I did the two and turned it and did two again and so I originally had done it this way or yeah, that inside just like this and um, I it was too small so what I did was I opened it up a little bit. So I put this flap, so you cut it on the short side, and I did this flap and left this one out and then um, brought this together and then put this in the front. This isn't going to show because your teapot's going to be in front. And then what you do is you um, measure your teapot and make sure that this goes in or it's not sticking out, and then that's this is or at the bottom and then that's where you would glue it okay and then what I did after I glued it so it looks like this so that could be and then I cut it straight across and you can't really see it and so um, this way I was able to put some tea bags in okay so then what I did was I got two also with these ones I did two two on each side so that would it gives it more stability and so I did two and then on the, the one in the back uh, before I glued it I, I um, did a little slit with an exacto knife and that way you could put a gift card uh, in there and what I did was I just glued just the edges do not glue anything in the middle I just went around I did this one and then I went all the way around very as tiny as I can get it as too much to the end so you can get and then that fits your little um, gift card. And then you just decorate it the way you want. And I had this one, a uh, little um, stamp from Michaels. And um, so then I did another project, which was a magnet for the refrigerator. And it is also with the teapot. And I have found these um, magnets um, with, that are community center and the library and stuff. And it had... Um, voting information and they were getting rid of them so I got a whole bunch and they're good for dyes and I used them for um, the magnets and so I was lucky enough to go to all these different places and they gave them to me because they were going to throw them away so it was nice and so the little box that I did for this one it measures um, three and a quarter by three and a half and I scored it at one and a half and then turned it and that's on the three and a quarter side and then three and a half side, I did one and one half and then turned it. And then I just folded it up and glued it on the sides. And then I got this paper. I did this in red and then I got this paper. I had a piece left and then I just kind of folded it over and glued it down. And then I just got copy paper and cut a whole bunch of uh, scrap pieces to fit in here and then put a pen. So, and then this little rose is from um, uh, Dress to Impress from Stampin' Up. And so and that's about it. And then I just put some little bling here and there. And I kind of like the same style. I kind of put the bling in the same. I, and then this little wording. Um, I do a lot of teapots and stuff on my craft shows. Um, 
And so I had a bunch of uh, life um, cup of tea and all kinds of different stuff. So this is always tea time. And so I used this and just glued it to an oval. And I thought it was pretty cute. I sold quite a bit of these. I think I had made like 20 or 25. I can't remember, but I, I sold them all. And this one was mine. And so um, it's the only one I had left to show. And uh, they were uh, pretty good uh, sellers um, because you could put them in the refrigerator or magnet. Or you can even hang it if you didn't want to put a magnet in the back. But I happened to have all the magnets, so I thought that was a good idea. And I hope you guys all enjoy that. And um, please uh, hit the like button and leave a comment if you like. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And thank you for um, watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.